take the leaf out I take a leaf out of Ireland's book. Um, I mean, I've read Brian O'Driscoll's autobiography, um, Paul O'Connor's autobiography, and it's you know when when Ireland, when Ireland when when Ireland won their three triple crowns in or four or six or seven, and then they were they were dying they were, they were really desperate to to do better and win a championship and then they finally did in 2009 the grand slam their first in 61 years and a lot of that a big part of that was down to a lot of a lot of the leinster players deliberately called a team meeting and they said and they said to they said to the coaches and the munster players we want if it means we win if it means it gets us the grand slam at international level we're willing to adopt our style to play the Munster way. And I think for so long, the Ospreys, the Ospreys have dominated the Welsh team for so up until the last few years. And all our success has been based on the Osprey style of play. But now that times are changing. And I think now that's what we need to, that's what our players need to do. Our players need to be willing to buy into the scarlet way of playing and just go out there confidence not worry not stress throw the ball around and play the way this and be willing to adopt the scarlet game plan and see see how it works and see where it takes us um you have to be willing to evolve um it's interesting to see gatlin said jamie roberts isn't isn't out of the plans and that he's still a long-term plan so obviously he's he's th he's obviously Jamie Roberts is a good shout is a good chance to be in the squad for the World Cup, um. So he's obviously tr aiming to so this this time unlike previous World Cups this time he's obviously because it's because he knows he's leaving after the World Cup he's obviously putting a big emphasis on this World Cup. So. But no, all, all, all in all, I think um, a gen, a gen, generally good selection, um, and as I said, that's the way I would like to see us play, and what what comes from that, what happens, let's see. But you know, sometimes sometimes things happen, and good things happen when you're willing to take risks and not worry about stuff. Um, Ireland. In terms of Ireland, um, yeah, they're looking they're looking very strong again. Um, they've got they've got us they've got us Scotland they've they've got us Scotland and Italy and Dublin um, France and England away so um, I mean it won't be tough for them having to play England away France away I know France France are not the team they once were but in Paris you never know um, but I mean, at the moment, going into the tournament, um, you'd you going into the tournament, you'd have to say it's Ireland. Ireland are the biggest threat to England winning it again. Um, and then England, obviously. England have got us and Ireland both at Twickenham, and then France, France, Italy, and Scotland away. Um, you know I. The only trick, I think, one Murray Scotland at Murrayfield will be tricky for them. I I do fancy I do fancy Scotland to. I do fancy Scotland to win the Calcutta Cup this year. For the first time in a while, I do fancy, do fancy Scotland to win win the Calcutta Cup. Um, I think that'll be the the tricky point for England. Um, and then obviously. Whether they win the championship will depend on how they do against us and I and Ireland at Twickenham. Um. So and yeah, it looks like. You know, as I said, hopefully we'll surprise a lot of people. But at the moment, going into it, it looks like the biggest threat to them winning it will be the, will be how they overcome Ireland at Twickenham. Um. France. Um. Yeah, their rugby's in a terrible state at the moment. Um. They've just sacked Guy Noves. Jacques Brunel is the new coach. Um, 
never never really know how they're gonna show up but um to be honest the way the way the way Trevizo and Zebra are playing this year I I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's a bad shout that Italy might Italy might finish above France and France might get the wooden spoon and finish last um because the the Italian teams are doing really well in doing really well in the pro 14 again um so yeah I yeah I wouldn't um I wouldn't write off perhaps Italy finishing above France so yeah that's my that's my view on the Six Nations and the Welsh squad and yeah as I said um, I think that's the way Wales have got to play just go out there confidence throw the ball around be willing to adopt the Scarlet's approach and then you never know fingers crossed come come the last game against France it might be 2005 all again and and we might be going for the Grand Slam were strange stranger things have happened um that would be my approach